Hi everyone, I'm Darren Roberts, Regional Agronomist with Winfield United in Western Iowa, and today I'm here with Dean Meckler, Crop Protection DSM in North Central and Northwest Iowa. And today we want to talk a little bit about adjuvant recommendations for post-herbicide applications in both corn and soybeans. So Dean, tell me at this point in the season, what type of questions are you getting related to this topic? So I get a lot of questions, but here's a question I get every year. And this one's from a relatively new agronomy seller. And they're asking, how do I know what adjuvants and surfactants I should be adding to my post-emerge applications for both corn and soybeans? Okay, so that's a very good question. So what kind of recommendations are you making? So I have a base recommendation that I, that I make for everything corn and soybeans other than extend soybeans or Liberty corn or soybeans. And that recommendation starts with class act NG at a rate of four to 10 quarts per hundred gallons. Okay. So class act NG is a liquid AMS based water conditioner and every two and a half gallon jug, it has eight and a half pounds of AMS and two quarts of NIS as well as corn sorb technology to help with leaf penetration. So while I do have a number of customers that use four quarts per hundred under great growing conditions and weeds that are on label, my standard recommendation would be five quarts per hundred because that gives me a quarter percent of NIS uh, per hundred gallons. Okay, so that kind of forms the basis of the recommendation. Right, so right. what else are you recommending? So the other part of my base recommendation is interlock at two to four ounces per acre. Okay, so interlock is a drift and deposition aid. Okay, so it helps with reducing those driftable fines. It also helps with better canopy penetration of the, of the droplets and deposition onto the leaf surface. And if I'm looking at just deposition, two ounces has worked for a long time for a lot of people. But if I'm really trying to get better drift control, I want three or four ounces per acre. Okay. Okay, so that kind of forms the basis of the recommendation, right? And that's the only thing you need if you're spraying just glyphosate. Okay. But if we think about a lot of our post uh, applications that we're making, a lot of times we're recommending uh, putting in a tank mix partner. So how would we modify our adjuvant recommendation if we have a tank mix partner in there? Sure, almost all of the tank mix partners are calling for oil on their labels. And I begin that oil recommendation with Superb HC at one to two quarts per hundred gallons. Okay, so Superb HC is a high surfactant crop oil concentrate. Um, Dean had mentioned the use rate being one to two quarts per hundred, and that kind of depends based on if we're using Class Act NG as our water conditioner. Uh, we'd mentioned before Class Act NG does have surfactant in with it, and so if we're using that, then we could probably run the Superb HC down at the one quart per hundred rate. Uh, if we're using spray grade AMS, we would probably keep this up at that two quart per hundred rate. And I'd probably raise to the two quarts if I'm, if I'm off label or if I have tough growing conditions. Yep, yep. And then there are certain products, particularly the PPO products on soybeans, that would be products like Flexstar, uh, Avalanche Ultra, Cobra, Ultra Blazer, that really work better with an MSO. And some of the Kixor technology from BASF Correct. as well. Correct, they, they really want uh, um, an MSO in that tank mix too. Okay, so you'd recommend Destiny HC? Destiny HC or Strike Lock are our two uh, MSO products. Okay, so Destiny HC is a high surfactant methylated seed oil. Um, it is going to be a little bit hotter than Superb HC, so we'd recommend this for maybe weeds that are a little bit larger uh, when we're spraying them and trying to heat it up and get a little better herbicide efficacy in that situation. Our rate recommendation is going to be the same as with Superb HC, dependent on if we're using Class Act NG as our water conditioner. So one to two quarts per hundred uh, for Destiny HC. And again, if, you get, if we get off label on weed size and we get tougher growing conditions, I like to go to that two quarts per hundred. Yep. You get 18 inch water hemp, two quarts per hundred does, uh, works a whole lot better. Yeah. So for those of you that are familiar with or have been using Destiny HC and Interlock in your programs in the past, um, one thing that you have as an option would be Strike Lock. So Strike Lock is a high surfactant MSO. It also has drift and deposition aid properties as well. So let's talk just briefly rate recommendations for Strike Lock. So again, if I'm on label with good growing conditions, six ounces per acre along with Class Act works very well. If I start getting off-label weeds, bigger weeds, tougher growing conditions, I'm going to go to eight ounces per acre. And if I'm talking those great big weeds rescue treatment, 
I'm going to be at 10 or 12 ounces per acre. Okay. So there, that's kind of our, our basic recommendations for post herbicide applications in both corn and soybeans. In another segment, we'll touch a little bit more specifically uh, related to adjuvant recommendations for Liberty and Extend Acres.